Herpes Simplex Virus Introduction The herpes simplex virus, or HSV, causes herpes. Herpes is a common infection. It can be spread by touching and kissing. It can also be spread during vaginal, anal, or oral sex. HSV can affect the mouth or genitals, but herpes does not always cause symptoms. You may be infected with HSV and not know it. This program explains infections caused by the herpes simplex virus. Herpes simplex virus The herpes simplex virus, or HSV, causes herpes. Herpes is a common infection. There are two types of HSV. HSV type 1. This type most commonly causes oral herpes. HSV type 2. This type most commonly causes genital herpes. Genital herpes affects the genitals, buttocks, or anal area. Oral herpes causes cold sores around the mouth or face. Cold sores are also known as fever blisters. Other herpes infections can affect the eyes, skin, or other parts of the body. HSV is the virus that causes herpes. Select true or false. Correct. The herpes simplex virus, or HSV, causes herpes. Herpes is a common infection. Symptoms Most people infected with HSV do not know they have the disease. An infected person may have no signs or symptoms. Signs and symptoms may be so mild that they go unnoticed. The first symptom of genital herpes usually is pain or itching. This may begin within a few weeks after exposure. The sores happen near the area where the virus entered the body. After several days, small red bumps or tiny white blisters may appear. They then rupture, becoming ulcers that ooze or bleed. Eventually, scabs form and the ulcers heal. In women, genital herpes sores can happen on or in the vaginal area, buttocks, anus, cervix. In men, genital herpes sores can appear on the penis, scrotum, buttocks, anus, thighs. They may also happen inside the urethra, the channel inside the penis that leads to the bladder. During a genital herpes outbreak, it may be painful to urinate. You also may have pain and tenderness in your genital area. Genital herpes is different for each person. Most people infected with herpes have outbreaks several times a year. Over time, they get them less often. Cold sores caused by oral herpes often appear outside the mouth. The sores may happen on the lips, chin, and cheeks, or in the nostrils. When they do happen inside the mouth, it is usually on the gums or on the roof of the mouth. Most people infected with the virus that causes cold sores never develop symptoms, but they still may be contagious to others even without blisters. For people who do develop signs and symptoms, a cold sore usually passes through several stages. Many people feel an itching, burning, or tingling sensation around their lips for a day or two before cold sore blisters erupt. The small blisters may push together and then burst. This can cause shallow, open sores that ooze fluid and then crust over. Some people have flu-like symptoms during their first herpes outbreak. These symptoms include headache, muscle aches, fever, swollen lymph nodes, Various factors may trigger herpes outbreaks. These include stress, fatigue, illness, surgery. In women, menstruation also may trigger an outbreak. Does herpes always cause symptoms? Select yes or no. Correct. An infected person may have no signs or symptoms. Signs and symptoms may be so mild that they go unnoticed. Causes. Two types of herpes simplex virus infections can cause herpes. HSV type 1 usually causes cold sores around your mouth. Cold sores spread from person to person by close personal contact, such as kissing, but it can be spread to your genital area during oral sex. HSV type 2 is the type that commonly causes genital herpes. The virus spreads through sexual contact and skin-to-skin -skin contact. 
HSV type 2 is common and highly contagious. Because HSV type 2 dies quickly outside of the body, it is nearly impossible to get the infection through contact with toilets, towels, or other objects used by an infected person. Women are more likely to have genital herpes than men. The virus is sexually transmitted more easily from men to women than it is from women to men. This is because women's genital areas have a greater surface area, and hormone changes during a woman's menstrual cycle may affect the immune system. Having many sexual partners is another risk factor for herpes. Each additional sexual partner increases your chance of infection. Cold sores are most contagious when they are oozing fluid, but HSV type 1 can be transmitted to others even during times when you have no blisters. Shared eating utensils, razors, and towels may spread HSV type 1. Birth-acquired herpes is a herpes virus infection that a baby gets from the mother during pregnancy or birth. Is it true that you cannot infect another person with herpes if you do not have any symptoms of the virus? Select yes or no. Correct. An infected person can be contagious even if he or she has no visible sores. Many people infected with genital herpes have no signs or symptoms. Diagnosis. Your healthcare provider will ask you questions about your personal and family medical history. He or she will perform a physical examination. Healthcare providers can usually diagnose cold sores just by looking at them. If there is doubt, he or she may want to take a sample from a lesion for testing in a laboratory. Your healthcare provider may perform other tests to diagnose an HSV infection. These include DNA tests. A sample of your blood, sore tissue, or spinal fluid can be tested for the presence of HSV and to determine which type of HSV you have. Blood tests can detect the presence of HSV antibodies in your blood. Viral culture. This test involves taking a tissue sample or scraping of the sores for examination in the laboratory. Treatment. There is no cure for herpes, but medications can ease symptoms and reduce the risk of infecting others. Treatment with prescription antiviral medications may help sores heal sooner during an initial outbreak, lessen the severity and length of symptoms in outbreaks, reduce how often outbreaks happen. People experiencing severe complications may need to be hospitalized so they can receive antiviral medication through an IV. An IV pushes medicine through a tube into a vein in your arm. To prevent HSV infection, use or have your partner use a latex condom for each and every sex act. Avoid sexual activity. Limit sexual activity to only one person who is infection-free. Avoid sex if either partner has a herpes outbreak. Tell your healthcare provider if you have herpes or ask to be tested if you are pregnant. Your healthcare provider may recommend that you start taking herpes antiviral medications to try to prevent an outbreak from happening during delivery. Cold sores often clear up without treatment within two weeks. Prescription antiviral drugs may speed the healing process. They may come in the form of pills or creams. Your healthcare provider may prescribe an antiviral medication for you to take on a regular basis if you develop cold sores frequently or if you're at high risk of complications. To help avoid spreading cold sores to other people or to other parts of your body, avoid skin contact with others while blisters are present. Avoid touching other parts of your body. Wash your hands often. Medications can ease the symptoms of herpes and reduce the risk of infecting others. Select true or false. Correct. Treatment with prescription antiviral medications may help sores heal sooner during an initial outbreak, lessen the severity and length of symptoms in outbreaks, and reduce how often outbreaks happen. Complications Complications associated with genital herpes may include catching other sexually transmitted infections, bladder problems, meningitis, rectal inflammation,
Having genital sores increases your risk of transmitting or contracting other sexually transmitted infections, including the AIDS virus. In some cases, the sores associated with genital herpes can cause inflammation around the urethra. Swelling may close the urethra for several days and require the insertion of a catheter to drain your bladder. HSV can sometimes cause pink eye. If ulcers develop on the eye itself, it can result in vision problems and even blindness. People who have a skin condition called eczema are at higher risk of cold sores spreading all across their bodies. This can be a medical emergency. Babies born to HSV-infected mothers can be exposed to the virus during the birthing process. This may result in brain damage, blindness, or death for the newborn. Having genital sores increases your risk of transmitting or contracting other sexually transmitted infections, including the AIDS virus. Select true or false. Correct. Coping and support. Finding out that you have genital herpes may cause you to feel shock, shame, or anger. What you're feeling is normal and perfectly valid, but you can cope with your diagnosis of genital herpes in a healthy and effective way. Communicate with and trust your partner. Be open and honest about your feelings. Talk with your healthcare provider to learn how to live with the condition and minimize your chances of infecting future partners. Learn about your treatment options and how to manage outbreaks. Join a support group. Look for a group in your area or online so that you can talk about your feelings and learn from others' experiences. Summary The herpes simplex virus, or HSV, causes herpes. Herpes is a common infection. Two types of herpes simplex virus infections can cause herpes. HSV type 1 usually causes cold sores around your mouth. Cold sores spread from person to person by close personal contact, such as kissing, but it can be spread to your genital area during oral sex. HSV type 2 is the type that commonly causes genital herpes. The virus spreads through sexual contact and skin to skin contact. HSV type 2 is common and highly contagious. Most people infected with HSV do not know they have the disease. An infected person may have no signs or symptoms. Signs and symptoms may be so mild that they go unnoticed. There is no cure for herpes, but medications can ease symptoms and reduce the risk of infecting others. This video is intended to provide introductory information on this topic to general public health and awareness. You should understand that this health education video Includes general information and not specific medical advice. It shows graphics and series of pictures and dialogues that have been simplified for better understanding. If you have any questions, you will check with your doctor or healthcare provider. It is not intended as a substitute for professional medical advice. Always rely only on your doctors in matters related to your health.